Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. We have made it guys. We've made it to the final part, part three of Secret of the Omnitrix, the final part to the film. I cannot wait to dive into this. Part one and part two have been phenomenal. I'm loving the reveals, loving the story so far. I cannot wait to see what they do in the final part here. It's been an incredible journey with this film in terms of watching it in these parts, which I understand some people, they wanted me just to just watch the whole thing in one sitting, which I'm taking a few minutes in between filming the videos. But I feel like, like I said in part one, I've been saying for a bit in regards to the breaking up of the footage and breaking up the videos for you guys to see more of my reaction to the film. You know, I feel like this is the better approach. And it, it, each time I take the little break in between a part, I keep thinking about... This has been an incredible journey with the show as a whole, not even just the film, because the film is bonkers in terms of the Omnitrix is going to self-destruct. It's not going to kill just Ben if it actually explodes. It's going to kill and destroy pretty much everything. And we're also potentially going to meet, I hope we meet, the creator of the Omnitrix. Vilgax, of course, is here. All this stuff. It's insane how crazy the story has gotten. It's really intense. The one thing I wish Max was in more of this because he was in the opening of part one but he's not been seen for quite some time i hope he pops up you know a bit at least in part three and so whether it's the wrap-up of the, the the film i don't know but i kind of wish he was in this but you know i understand the whole point him being a human and with him being a plumber he could be recognized by somebody on this adventure to try to you know stop the watch from exploding <laughs> and killing everything as we learn in part two because part one is bad enough it uh self-destructing and everything and it killing ben but now it's going to potentially kill everybody insane so it ended with vilgax of course standing over ben at the end of part two and i cannot wait to see what they do here guys i've been <sighs> It's been crazy it's been a crazy journey i want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the videos and like i've been saying the journey's not done alien force is around the corner i believe i have one live action film to watch after this maybe there's a second one i'm not 100 sure i will get that all verified and then we'll jump into alien force and it's gonna be a great time so the journey is not over guys here we go i cannot wait to see what happens oh my gosh i'm so excited secret of the omnitrix part three let's go Yeah, run. Yeah, run. He doesn't care that it's going to destruct. Oh. Yep. Oh, shit. Really? That actually worked. I didn't think it was going to work. No, it's not. Not even close. Oh. What happened? Ludo sacrificed himself to save me from one of Vilgax's drones. Yeah. It's called being totally unselfish. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so we need help. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, good. That was the brake handle. Mm-hmm. He died trying to save me. We'd better find Asma. Compound must have been overrun. Asma's yeah. This lab would be discovered by those after the Omnitrix. Oh! Oh! Walmart. Yeah! About to say! Damn, there's a lot of them. Ooh, it's so crazy. They're like snakes. Kinda. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's doing it for Gwen. I love that. I love that. And he's trying. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. There were too many there. The Florana weren't gonna stop until they had one of us. She sacrificed herself to save me. Is this all your fault? My fault. Not yeah. Why? If I didn't help the creator make this stupid thing, then I never would have found it, and Gwen would still be alive. She's not dead. Sorry. I really don't think she's dead. I mean, can you imagine they actually killed her off? Can you imagine? I just don't, I don't believe it. When my people didn't bow at his feet, he destroyed the entire planet to make an example out of it. Dude. Vilgax did the dirty work. He, he helped Vilgax destroy his planet, so essentially. I heard that he was after the Omnitrix. Look out! What? Ooh. Okay. He's got to be in there. Come on. What are you doing with my Omnitrix? Whoa. 
Whoa. You? If you could just turn it off. You can turn it off, would be great. Oh. Maybe Ben didn't make it clear why we're here. He misused my creation, and now the whole universe... He didn't misuse it. Look, I don't know why you don't want to help us. Let's roll. Oh shit, he's gonna bust down the door. Oh my god. I've come too far. Yep, come too far. To exactly. He broke in. Holy crap. You are gonna turn this thing off. You're gonna turn it off. You're a hero, but you're a fool. I'm gonna have the pleasure of kicking your butt first. Oh. Wait, what? what you know oh. Oh. Like it's really a gray matter? Does that give you the right to destroy my property and invade my property? Well, turn it off. Talk. I didn't create a weapon. All of you did. I created the ultimate device for understanding all the beings of the universe. Oh. You and Bill Gats are no different. At first, all I cared about was that I wouldn't be able to go hero anymore. Mm -hmm. That I'd be stuck with And you now you're realizing me. it's, Sometimes you know. Sometimes you have to see the good in people. That's Bill Gax. Yeah, that's gotta be Bill Gax, I think. Oh my god. At last. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. Ben is fucking mowing down. Whoa. That should have killed him. Yeah, that should have killed him. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> He's crying. He's crying. Hug it out. Hug it out. Yes. Good. Oh. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh shit. Hey, you're floating. And you're oh! <laughs> this is great. Boomerangs. <laughs> Kinda. Dude. Yep. Make a decision. Oh. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. It's like supernova. Holy crap. Look at his body. What happened? I'm still not sure the universe is worth saving. Come on. Mmm. Come on. It's I, of course it ain't over. The Omnitrix is mine. Over, Bill Gax. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. You are a hero, even if you can't go hero. Exactly. Exactly. So you pulled the plug on this thing and couldn't turn it back on. Who told you that? It's fixed. Yeah, let's go. Here, try this alien on for size. Oh. Oh, that's the one. That's the one from a Ken 10, right? Yeah. I'm way big. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude. Holy crap. Release me or suffer the consequences. Like baseball, really? <laughs> to thank you for fixing the Omnitrix. If you want it back, to help all the beings of the universe grow closer together. If an Earthling can make that happen, then I see no reason why he shouldn't have it. You have to tell me how to work this thing. Don't you want to figure it out on your own, like a true hero would? Mm. Think you can drive us back to Earth? <laughs> no problem. We should go to the mall. And go shopping for clothes and junk. Appears to be zombies are attacking the mall. Zombies? Are advised to stay clear of the area. It's hero time! Hero time. Awesome! Awesome! And that was it. That was part three, the ending of Secret of the Omnitrix. 
what a finale as you guys saw i was freaking out this is going to be so hard to edit this part at least because there were so many things that happened after we of course met the creator of the omnitrix and then vilgax showing up and everything just going to shit oh my god so many great moments for sure so overall before i get to my thoughts about part three i think overall secret of the omnitrix it's a phenomenal phenomenal film i love the story so much I love the reveals, love the action moments, love some of the emotional stuff too, like the holy crap, like I'll get to that big moment in part three that I knew was going to happen, oh my god, it was so satisfying, it was so awesome, but this film just works so well. As somebody who wasn't sure going into Ben 10 when it was, when it was voted on and you guys voted for it and it won the poll, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I was going to give it a chance because you guys voted for it, right? And I have fallen in love with this show. I love Ben 10. I love these characters. I love seeing the craziness that happens each week and all the different variety of stories that have been told throughout the seasons of Ben 10. And now getting to this point where we have this film where it looks a little bit better in terms of the visuals, but it looks like Ben 10 just a little bit better. But ultimately, the story is what makes it stand out because it's all surrounding the Omnitrix, which is the biggest point of the show in regards to the whole point of why this series even exists because of the Omnitrix. Phenomenal. Love the film. Love it. And I'm so happy that I finally got to this point because I appreciate it so much. And I'm so happy that I watched it last. Okay. After now seeing all of it, I'm glad that I didn't watch this after episode four of season four, which a lot of people were also saying is that is an option. You could watch it after episode four of season four. I'm glad I didn't. Because I feel like this really, to me, serves as the ending of the series, at least in terms of this continuity. Now, I understand, Goodbye Good Riddance is a what-if type situation where we go back to school and everything and summer's over. But I feel, in terms of what we've all been through, in terms of following along with this journey of these characters, Secret of the Omnitrix makes the most sense as the ending. At least, in my opinion, it does. Um, wow. Now, to get to part three... I love the fact that it opens right away, of course, with Vilgax standing over Ben, and then Ben sends him out into space and everything. He's running away, and he even tells Vilgax, hey, the watch is not even really good right now because it's about to self-destruct, and Vilgax, I, he, he probably thinks Ben's lying to him or something, so he's not really paying attention. He really should, but he's, you know, in his mindset, I need the Omnitrix, so he's not listening to Ben in regards to that, right? So... Sent out into space, they land on the planet, and Gwen and Ben are having a terrible time <laughs> in the controls trying to figure this out, because when Gwen was in there by herself, um, obviously, I kind of figured that the pilot, you know, who sacrificed himself for Gwen, I kind of figured he wasn't actually dead, but I also wouldn't be too surprised, because Secret of the Omnitrix has done some little bit darker stuff with that one alien being eaten by that bigger one at the prison or whatever, so I'm thinking potentially they could have killed him off. Of course not, but anyways, we'll get to that. So, Gwen's having a terrible, like, it's, like, it's like riding a bike. No, it's not. <laughs> and see, Ben and Gwen try to struggle. They st Even though they go through all the controls and pulling levers and stuff, they still slam into a rock. And then they go into the actual location of where uh, Asmath, I think that, how you pronounce the same, anyways, the creator of the Omnitrix. They find his lab, his bunker, his whatever, his uh, laboratory. It's overran by like what looks like vines, which turns out to be wild vines, like a version of the one that can be used as objects. They're, they're different shade of green, but they're definitely like more like snakes because how long they are or whatever. Like, cause, cause whenever Max turned into wild vine using the Omnitrix, it was a different shade of green and he was just more of like a tall plant. These are like giant snakes and there's a lot of them. And Gwen gets taken. And I kind of theorized as we were getting into Secret of the Omnitrix is that um, I was thinking within part, like going into part two, that Gwen was going to get kidnapped or something by Vilgax as potentially like whether it's Ben or Gwen are going to get kidnapped by Vilgax. Not true at all, because ultimately she does get taken, but not by Vilgax. Wasn't expecting these wild vines to show up or a version of them. So she gets taken. And here's what I think is the turning point of where this, this movie, I almost said episode, this movie went from being a story that has some intense moments, but it's really, it has a certain tone it's approaching with in terms of how serious it is, how fun it's being at times. But when Gwen gets taken and Ben thinks that she's gone for good, 
his emotions hit and he uses the Amish tricks when he's told don't use it he's like I don't care slams it and he goes forearms and he's trying to break through that that doorway though they don't give an explanation exactly I guess the explanation is is that you know that the pilot regenerates his body and he saves Gwen but when she's taken Obviously, I'm not even thinking about that. Like, I'm not I'm thinking that's that's because I don't remember ever like any pieces landing on her of of him when he exploded from when he uh, sacrificed himself. But when she's taken and and Ben is just screaming and he's angry, and then he throws the blame at who we thought was the crater. Turns out, no, she was the helper and she didn't get enough credit. He says it's your fault because you created this thing. If if I didn't find this thing, the Gwen would still be alive. He was so angry. But see, when people are hitting that kind of emotion, they immediately try to throw blame at somebody. Then, of course, a little bit later when he's talking to uh, Tetrax, he starts blaming himself for this, you know, because it's like, well, the Omnitrix does something, 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 it's my fault. Like, see, he's going through different stages of trying to deal with the fact that he thinks his cousin's gone for good. You know, he, it was, it was really a big moment I think for the entirety of the series is, was this moment of Ben really thinking that she was gone. He really just let it all out. Now the design, because ultimately it's not the actual design of the, of the character, the design of the crater with that hologram was interesting. I'm like, well, okay, interesting. It's, um, it's unique. We haven't seen an alien like this before. It's not an alien. It's a suit, but still, we don't know that, but I'm like, that's pretty cool. He's an asshole. He doesn't care. He, he's, he, of course, scans and sees the Omnitrix. It's like, it's like, well, you see the Omnitrix, like, I know what it is and I know what's going on and I'm not going to help you. And then he says, my cousin sacrificed, like, you know, my cousin died essentially to get to this point. I've been through too much. That's not my problem. It's not my concern, dude. So he busts down the damn door of Cannonbolt. I think it's Cannonbolt, right? Yeah. He busts down the damn door, slams into the crater, and out pops out of the suit is a gray matter. <laughs> gray matter? It clicked in my head as I'm watching it. I didn't say it out loud, but in my mind, as we're continuing and seeing more of the crater of the arm tricks, it makes so much sense. It's a gray matter. It makes so much sense because of how smart that species is especially when ben can turn into gray matter when he does he outthinks the villains he doesn't outfight them he outsmarts them he uses that really gigantic brain plus thinking back on it too in ken 10 in that episode ken says that he used the gray matter part of the brain to access more of the omnitrix so he could do more shit with it how he was changing so fast i'm thinking ben could have thought about that but ken did of course he did but it makes so much sense that it's a gray matter. It's that type of species of alien that created it. And then his reasoning to create it was also really interesting too. The idea of he created the Omnitrix for all the species of aliens to get close together, to understand each other. And that was the true purpose of the Omnitrix, not as a weapon. But of course, it, it then. but I get his point because he says, even though I don't agree with it, I get what he's coming from because he doesn't know Ben. He doesn't really know Vilgax, but he sees Ben is using the Omnitrix, who's used it to turn into different aliens, going hero, but still using it in that way of turning into aliens to use them for combat and fighting, of course on the side of good, but Vilgax wants it for a villainous reason to use it to fight different aliens and to attack and to take over shit, but the crater believes you're one in the same, because I didn't mean to create it as a weapon, you guys turned it into that. Yeah, and then, of course, at the end of the episode, he says, you know, I don't want it. It's too much trouble. There's always going to be trouble associated with that thing because of how powerful it is. Because you saw immediately in the prison when, of course, when Ben and uh, Gwen were told, you're delicacies to a lot of aliens. So if they see you as a human, they're going to eat you. But they didn't say that part. But when they say delicacies, it's pretty clear what they're saying. They just can't exactly say I, mean, I guess they could have. Anyways, they immediately go from humans to 
he has the Omnitrix. How do you turn back? How do you turn into a human from an alien? Omnitrix. They immediately knew it was the Omnitrix. So everyone pretty much knows. Like even these persons are Omnitrix, so they must know, right? So yeah, it is going to be a dangerous thing to whoever has it. And I'm surprised that Ben even offered it up. It was kind of crazy. So the creator want doesn't want to fix it, but then the destruction and everything, and then Vilgax is there, and Ben. Not, not, no fucks given. Runs out there because he, he talking crazy. Like, why do you continue to do this? Like, it's, it's, it. There's, there's no hope. There's like, it's, it doesn't matter because it's gonna explode. Because he doesn't care. He wants it. He wants the whole world to. He wants everything to restart. <laughs> he doesn't care that it gets destroyed. He doesn't want to fix the army tricks. But Ben's like, I gotta keep fighting. I can't. I'm not gonna stop. He goes out there, gun to blade, and just fire that gun. Ah, going crazy. I'm like, go Ben, go Ben. And then it gets to the point where Ben is potentially, he should have died with those barrage of, you know, explosions happening around him, but whatever. That happens sometimes. The show has plot armor and they cannot die. They should, but they don't. Because that one time, because when Ben in, in part two exploded and uh, the, the ship exploded as he was flying into the ship itself, like the little pod or whatever, he just magically flew out when it exploded. He should have died there. Anyways, so. Blue bubbles. I'm like, oh shit, God! And it was Gwen. It was Gwen, and he hugged her. He was crying. He hugged her. Oh my God! It was so emotional. I couldn't believe it, because we've been seeing Ben and Gwen at each other's throats through this whole show. They've had some moments in terms of cousins, and they care for each other. But ultimately, it's that dynamic. They have to. They have to mess with each other. They have to do that. The man, he honestly thought she was dead. I'd like, come on, they're not gonna kill off Gwen. Like if they did, that's a big, it's a big move. I would not have expected that. But then again, we've seen that few times. But then people have been saying, is that really like the true timeline of the show? I don't know, right? So I don't know. But regardless, if they would have done that, but they didn't. He was so happy. He hugged her. He cares for her. And he even offered at the end of the episode to go to the mall and to get clothes, but it's for her. But then there's a, a horde of zombies at the mall. <laughs> there's zombies. I want to see that episode. What the fuck? What do you mean zombies? So he uses the Omnitrix. Well, first of all, the, the creator takes like the top part, the actual dial away. And I don't know what he does, but he fixes it. Because we see in part one where it's it's green going inside the armor tricks, like going through all the different portals, and then it's orange coming out or whatever, like that color showing its self-destruct mode. And then we see the green when he puts it back on. Like, well, who told you that? That uh, I, I couldn't take it apart and not put it back together. Because, you know, Ben was, on, ben was under the impression you take the armor tricks apart, like if you actually stop the countdown, the armor tricks no longer functional. But it's like, who told you that? He puts it back on. Like, I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you that I, that, that he would automatically stop working by taking it apart. He puts it back on, and then he turns it and says, try this one on for size. Try this one. Slams it. He turns into the giant alien from Ken 10 when Ben is so fucking mad. He turns into that giant motherfucking alien and starts destroying shit. And Ben turns into it here. Ginormous. I think he said something, like, I'm way big or big or something, like, I'm huge or, like, something, like, whoa. I think he said way big. I think that was the, the wording he used. Like, it was like, okay. So it's mowing down shit, stepping on shit, destroying shit. And I'm thinking when he grabs Vilkax, like a little doll, holds it up like an action figure. Like, he's not going to squeeze him to death. I don't know that for sure, but what if he did? Probably too gruesome. He throws him like a baseball. Wind up and bam, out. He's gone. <laughs> so Vilgax is technically still out there. Still out there. Hmm. Then we get back and we just travel right back to home. And there's uh, Max. I, I I was thinking as the episode was progressing, like Max is not going to show up in the third act in terms, well, third act of the movie, but the third act of this, you know, thing here with the big fight or whatever, because he's too far away. So... I hate the fact that Max was not really in it. I, I hate that. I do. But I also love the story they told. It was really well done. It was so good. It was so good actually experiencing Secret of the Omnitrix. Because it really it really works as a movie. Now, now obviously, I watched it in these parts, taking a few minute breaks here or there as I'm filming. But 
I love the fact that it was made in terms of like it's this own special event. You know, supposedly it's supposed to be after everything in terms of the show. It was fun. It was so good. I can't get enough of Ben 10. That's why I'm continuing. That's why I have to continue with the Alien Force. I have to see what's next for the show, you know? So I can't wait. I really can't. Um, it's been It's been an incredible journey to see Ben grow as a character, to see Gwen become... A hero at one point, we've seen a what if where she got the Omnitrix. Of course, she is now using magic really well and seeing how Max is not just grandpa. He's so much more. He was a plumber. He's seen a lot of shit. He had a run with Vilgax back in the day. He had a secret love thing with Xylene. There's so many things in that. Um, it's been crazy how, how, how crazy... It's been crazy how this show has really done so much in four seasons and now this film. Because we've had some very unique villains in regards to like Dr. Animo, Zombozo, which I thought maybe we would have seen him again. Maybe not. I guess, you know, who knows. Maybe we'll see Zombozo in a later series. I don't know. But I thought like that the character that we could have seen pop up again. Um, of course, uh, Kevin. Can't forget Kevin. <laughs> That's crazy. I kind of wish we still would have figured out how they got out of the null void. Maybe there's a line I missed or something, but I really kind of, you know, how Vilgax get out. I don't know. I don't know. And then also seeing too, where we deal with the fountain of youth, right? Like we dealt with that in an episode, like how crazy that is. And then I'm also thinking back on two of all the times where Ben is like discovering new aliens, you know, like ditto and discovering Upchuck. <laughs> if turning into Upchuck going after what he thought was Bill Gaxon, part one was interesting for sure. Um, it's just crazy how many adventures they've went on in one summer, right? In one summer, they've done so much crazy shit. And this is still in the in the timeline of the summer, right? The Secret Objects, like, they're still out and about. So yeah, you know, even the Christmas episode was weird too. <laughs> But it was still interesting. Apparently, there was, there was like a mandate or something they had to do. I don't know. But it's been an adventure. And, and people have, you know, commented their thoughts on different episodes saying this is their favorite or whatever. But uh, for me, it's like I don't consider any episode of Ben 10 a bad episode. I've loved every single one for what they are. Obviously, I've enjoyed others over others. You know, there's some episodes I really love over others. But, you know, hey, each episode had its purpose. Whether if it was like a shoehorn, they had to do a Christmas type event or, you know, episode. Even that, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, right. Awesome. Whatever. Like, because cause each week when I started an episode, I didn't know what to expect. That's what I love about it, you know? And, I, of course, with the title, Secret of the Omnitrix, I'm thinking, okay, it's something to do with the Omnitrix. Clearly, I wasn't expecting it self-destruct. We're going to meet the creator and all that kind of stuff. Holy shit. And Gwen's going to die and then come back and Ben's crying over it. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting how deep this was going to go. But I should have known it would because this show surprises me all the time. It does. So, I guess in conclusion of talking here, I love the show as you guys know, and I thank each and every one of you for watching and supporting me on this journey. And I cannot wait for alien force. I think I have a live action film to do next. And I, maybe there's another one. I don't know. I have to figure out the timeline of all that, but I will figure that out. So it's, it's been great. Hope you guys are uh, <laughs> enjoying the journey. Hope you guys are my reaction to all three parts of secret of the Omnitrix. And well, I'll still be here continuing the journey we're, we're getting close to the next series and it's gonna be good it's been tense been fun but we're gonna continue on as always hope you guys enjoyed the video it's been great i love the fact that i finally got here to watch the good the tricks and it was worth it hope you guys enjoyed the video i will talk to you guys soon peace out